Okay, so uh, we're going to do a step-by-step -step drawing again today. We're going to do something similar on every Wednesday. Um, and today um, we're going to try something a little new. We're, I need a piece of paper, pencil, and a blending stick or Q-tip if you have it. Okay, so I'm going to start with uh, some basic shapes. And again, I'm going to draw dark on this video, but I want you to draw lightly on it. So I'm doing, it's kind of a very shallow S here. Very shallow S there. And then I'm going to do one that kind of goes down like that. Another shallow S like that. Okay. At the top of this, I'm going to do a upside down U shape. The bottom of this one, I'm going to do a right side up U shape. Can you guess what we're drawing yet? I don't know if you can. All right, and then. I'm going to close that shape off. It's kind of flat on this end and goes like that. I'm going to do the same thing over here, kind of flat at the top section, and then it goes downward. Okay. I'm going to bring this shape inwards like this. I'm just going to connect to that line. And same thing over here. This gets really close to that. Can you guess what we're doing yet? I don't know if you can. Okay, over here. All right. You might have a clue. I don't know. So on this line right here, I'm going to bring out a shape that comes up and over that line and back down. Okay. Just kind of lines. Mm -hmm. Out here, I'm going to do shape like this shape like that I'm bringing this line out a little bit more can we guess yet no idea I'm going to bring this one out just a little bit more. This line here is doing similar to what we did over there. Right here, I have this shape here. Here, I have this shape here. Do we know yet? this a little thicker here so I'm going to erase that bring out a like a, a V that's not closed here 
This has got a double line here. Okay. I have one shape here. One shape here. Roughly the same size. I think you probably have guessed it by now. If not, we're drawing koi fish. And I don't know if you know, but koi fish have a little kind of whiskers off the side here. Almost like catfish. And these koi fish are that we're drawing are going to be kind of spotted. So I'm drawing a spot. This line here that we first drew is like the spine of the catfish, or not catfish, the koi fish. We're drawing from the top down. So he's got a couple little spots where she... Okay, this that we drew in here is actually uh, the top dorsal fin and it's made of just lines that are kind of see-through so all I'm doing is I'm taking my time and going lines in one direction that radiate outwards from that spine okay there's another little one here and then the the tail of the koi fish is a lot of flowy lines that go in that same direction. So I'm doing lots of flowy lines. The eye part has a double line here and then it is pretty dark here so we can go ahead and color in that part the uh, spots of our koi fish are going to be a little on the dark side too so i'm just coloring in those spots I want to put a couple little ones. What you want to avoid is making them perfectly circle uh, because the dots are kind of like uh, the birthmark of the fish and they're not really circular. They're all weird wonky shapes so I did several different there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and darken this side just a little bit here. And where this side fin touches uh, the, the body of the fish, it gets darker. But there is a little kind of like a lip on this side that's a little bit lighter. And then the fin has kind of these sections in it. So these little sections right in here. And then where it touches the body, it is a little darker. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some dark in there. And as I'm going outwards, I'm lightening up on the pressure of my pencil so that it's kind of a fade. I'm gonna put another little spot down here. That goes all the way to the side of the fish. And maybe a couple other little spots over here. Your spots don't have to be exactly where my spots are either. I'm going to put these lines in this side of the fin too to create the sections. Can 
Okay, so on this side of the fin, I left that one um, section of the lip that's uh, wider than the rest. Again, where it hits the body, it's pretty dark. And then uh, those sections, uh, it does get darker. And then as I'm coming outwards with my shading, it's getting lighter as it gets to the end of the fin there. I'm going to make this pretty dark here. Okay, I'm also going to kind of do like a little bit of wavy lines right here. Think of this as maybe the brain of the fish. I don't know. It's just some kind of texture right here. Um, so, and I just lightly color that in. I'm going to lightly color, very lightly, on the sides of my fish, right through the um, the fin that's see through, right through the other fin that's see through. All right, I'm going to do a little bit of shading here too little bit of shading here too and I'm going really fast on this but anytime you want to pause this video you can do that all right now I'm going to take my nice blending stick and I'm just blending this in just a little bit when I blend I go in the direction that I want the shape so this is round so that's why I'm doing that okay this is round so I'm bringing that up like that. Round. Anything that's round when you're doing a drawing is usually darker on the sides and lighter in the middle. Well, we have this little dark section that's part of the fish's um, like design, but most of this section would be lighter in the in the center. I'm going to blend in the sides of the fish that we did, so it's nice and smooth. I'm going to blend down my shading here. I'm even going to put a little bit on that top, but it, you can see it does blend it in nicely together, but I'm still leaving a little bit lighter there. So we're going to do something similar on the other fish because this is kind of a yin yang fish or just fish going in the opposite direction. So I'm going to do that little kind of V section here that isn't closed off again. It's kind of like his face. Over here I'm going to do a double line with a half circle. Over here, double line with a half circle. I did that the opposite way. Gotta love erasers. So it should be double line this way and then a half circle. Okay, the little lip of the fish, double line here. He's got little whiskers that come out. little wavy lines here okay the fin has those separating marks here and separating marks here it's got the line here the line here we're going to do a couple of additional spots on this fish but what I'm going to make sure is that um, I'm not putting them in the same look. I'm not uh, making the spots exactly mirrored to the other fish because uh, just like humans, the two birthmarks are not usually the same. So I'm just doing a couple of spots in the random places for my koi fish.
All right. Again, where the fin touches the body is probably the darkest section. So I'm making that pretty dark. And then as I'm working my way outwards on the fin, it gets a little bit lighter and a little bit lighter. Yes, the fin touches the body is the darkest section. I'm going to darken the eyes just like we did on the other one. I'm going to put a little bit darker around the edges. kind of a medium tone here for this section that's kind of I don't know like the Mickey Mouse shaped face there go ahead and darken the side of the fish I'm going to do the dorsal fin. What you want to avoid is going scribbly scribbly. You want um, to make sure that you're going in the right direction for your dorsal fin here. And the Tail. Same thing. I'm being careful not to go scribble back and forth. Maybe I wanted to curl in a little bit more. Okay. And there is a little fin here too. I'm going to make his little whiskers on this guy a little darker. All right, I'm going to use my blending stick to blend this in really nicely. You can use your Q-tip if you have a Q-tip. If you're wondering where you get blending sticks, I don't know if Walmart has them, but you can definitely get them at the art store like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And if you're gonna be serious about drawing, um, you might wanna think about getting one, but you don't have to have them, okay, as you become. So I was continuing to do the same thing on this fish that I did on the other one. I did some shading around the edges. I darkened in um, the spots that I wanted to show on this koi fish. I did uh, the tail and the fin. Uh, the most important thing when you do the tail and the fin of your, your fish is you wanna be careful not to scribble back and forth. Um, and that's really easy to just give up and do. Uh, you want to go nice and slow and go in the right direction so that that looks like the tail is actually curling in that direction. All right. 
right and because we are looking down on these fish I want to um, show some shading um, in the water actually so um, I'm gonna bring a shadow down and this is just kind of the same shape as here bring a shadow down here and I'm gonna color that in and I want it darker right where it touches the um, the fish and then I want it to get a little bit lighter as it comes outward so I press pretty hard where it touched the fish and then I'm going to use my blending stick and blend it out okay. what I didn't do was go all the way to the edge of the fish up here I brought it back in a little bit and that's because I wanted it to look like a drop shadow okay I'm going to do a little bit of a shadow on the fin here so this is again on the water beneath it's darker by the fin it gets lighter as it radiates outwards just like that and a little bit over here too dark 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 right by there and lighter as it goes out And I'm going to do something similar on this side of this fish because the light's hitting it over here. Can you have your attention, please? There's a last minute announcement. There. Okay, so I'm going to have a little bit of shadow here that's really dark by the fish. And then brings it out just a little bit lighter. Really dark by the fish. Bring it out just a little bit lighter. I'm going to take my blending stick and blend it. Or your Q-tip. If I lost any of that um, lines for the dorsal fin, I can put them back in. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of shadow just right here on this fish. Same thing darker when it touches the fish. Lighter as it goes back. little bit of shadow on this side of the fin on the water darker as it touches the fin lighter as it goes outwards and maybe a little bit over here darker where it touches the fin and lighter as it goes outwards all right i'm also going to take my eraser if you don't have a good eraser on your pencil uh, you can use one of the pink erasers or uh, needed eraser or anything and i'm going to erase just a couple of white lines into that dorsal fin and what that's going to do is look like um, there's some light and dark in those fins. At this time, seventh grade car and bus riders are dismissed. Seventh grade car and bus riders are dismissed. Darken the whiskers on this little guy. And then I might do a couple of bubbles underwater here. So when I do bubbles, I do a light circle and I leave a couple of sections light and a couple of sections I color in and then I kind of blend those around and you can have a little drop shadow there. Maybe another one here, small one. And one here. And 
And that is our koi fish from above.